You guys are creepy. What? Hello there, all you wonderful people of the internet. It is Thursday. We're starting the vlog off at Patrick and Teresa's because they are having their first babysitting duty. How exciting is that? Yes. You guys excited? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> so I have an ultrasound today. Um, I told you guys I haven't gained any weight this pregnancy yet. Um, my midwives aren't concerned. I think it's just because I've been healthier, obviously, but they just want to do an ultrasound just to double check, make sure everything's good. So I'm going to that and then my normal appointment because today I'm 33 weeks, which is crazy. And the girls are going to have fun with grandma and grandpa. Are you going to have fun? You're not? <laughs> no. Why not? I'm going to be a great I know, but I'll be right back. Okay, we're off in the car, and first though, before my appointment, I'm actually going to meet my friend Amber, who's hosting our baby shower that's this Saturday, um, and we're going to pick out like the winner gifts, because you know, they do like games at baby showers. So I think we're doing like two or three games, so we're going to pick those out right now. Um, we're gonna go meet up at the Dollar Tree to find some good stuff, so we're doing that now. Um, my appointment is until 1.30, and it's 12 now, so we've got some time to go and hang out, both of us kid-free, because Lincoln, you guys know Lincoln is her son, um, that is Rev's age, and Rev and Ari love him. <laughs> he isn't with her either right now, and so we both are kid-free at the moment, which is pretty exciting. I don't think we've actually hung out yet kid-free, other than um, worship team-like nights and stuff we have, uh, but like in outside of church, we haven't hung out kid-free yet, so I'm pretty excited for this. <laughs> Okay, I just got out of my appointment with my midwives and so basically there's like some updates. I had my ultrasound as I told you guys to check on the baby's size. She's doing great. She's actually up to the 60th percentile which I was like uh oh. She was 30th percentile at like 24, 25 weeks but I mean I said no like that's fine. Not a big deal at all that she jumped that much. Um, so everything is looking good. She's not above average at this point at all. Um, like she obviously is like just above average but it's not out of the norm for a baby to be in the 60th percentile at this stage she was hiding her face so there's not much to show you guys but um, she did show me that she had a bunch of hair already um, you guys know we're, we tend to have babies with hair so um, it was interesting to me that she could already see like that it was a decent amount of hair on her so I have a feeling it's gonna be like another rev baby with like a full head of hair Ari had hair like a, a decent amount of hair when she was born but not as much as Rev did so I haven't updated on the gestational di diabetes stuff in a while basically it was looking like I was able to keep everything under control with what I was eating um, and I was doing good still my like nutritionist thought I was borderline but not to the point that like I'm full on gestational diabetes or anything However, over the last week or two, my numbers have gotten a little worse. They had me go down for a couple weeks to just doing six meals a week. So one meal basically a day and then three fasting numbers a week. But now because my numbers were starting to kind of go back up, my nutritionist had me go back to the four meals a day and the fasting every day. So that's what I've been tracking. Um, but anyways, I am happy and really just thankful that I had the intuition to deny the three hour test because my midwife said, I think I told you guys, maybe, maybe not. My midwife said at my last appointment that if I had taken the three hour test based on how my numbers had been, I would have passed. And so we would have never known that my numbers were getting worse later on. Apparently it's super common that pregnant women's um, gestational diabetes, if they have it, gets worse when they're further in pregnancy. But they only typically test you, I think, between 24 and 28 weeks. I know no later than 28 weeks. Um, unless there's some kind of probable cause. But for the most part, if you pass your one hour, they don't ever test you again. And if you fail your one hour, pass your three hour, they don't ever test you again. So if I had just opted to do the three hour at the time, I would have passed it and I would have had no idea that it was getting worse later on. So I am thankful that like I went with my gut and I denied the three hour test and just opted to track. It's pain in the butt as it has been to track my numbers. Um, it's good to know that it's happening and I've just been able to be more aware of what I'm eating and stuff. Obviously I'm eating very healthy being plant-based for the most part. And we've been eating out a little bit more just with like helping Ryan's parents move in and stuff the past week or so. Um, but for the most part, like we eat so much healthier, but you can still be eating incorrectly, but eating super healthy, if that makes sense. So it's just helped for me to stay on top of my protein intake, making sure that if I have fruit, I have nuts with it, that kind of thing. I just don't want to be full gestational diabetes, especially because I want a natural. 
delivery. I really don't want to be induced this time. Basically, they have me at like a due date range between the 15th and the 20th is what they have. I'll be really interested though to see when she comes. The funny part is like, I could totally have an October baby. Like we could have an October baby. That's pretty nuts. Um, I think it'd be fun if she was born on Ryan's birthday though. His birthday is November 6th. That'd be pretty fun. She's just hiding though, so they couldn't get a really good picture. So that was a bummer. Hey guys, guess what we're doing? We're playing games. Ariana won in dominant fashion. I mean, <laughs> dominant. No, she I did very well. Ten. And we're gonna doing one more game and then we're gonna switch to a different game. <laughs> you are still angling. <laughs> so there appears to be some discussion that I'm shorter since I've lost weight. So, see the you difference in this? <laughs> 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 Negative games, we played four games. Ariana won was three of, three of those games. And one was a partner win with Patrick. Yep. And the um, oh, there one. was Ryan and Teresa. So everyone got a chance to win. Yeah. A chance? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> had a chance to win. Okay, everyone got to win. Everybody won. He looked short next to you. So when he, I believe, when we brought him home, his head was like here on you. Oh, really? Hold on, let me hold the picture. Yeah. See, he's right. Yeah, you really am real, you. bud. It is Friday, guys, and exciting. Um, my mom is here. She's in her swimsuit. She probably wants you to know that. <laughs> well, our makeshift swimsuit. <laughs> we had to go to Walmart to figure out how to get get her something. Yes, what not to wear. Yeah. Um, so, my mom surprised me this morning, which was pretty funny. My mom's realtor that she's been working with to find a house down here, she texted me this morning and she was like, your mom really wants me to look at this house. Can you come at one o'clock? And I was like, that's right when the girls go out for a nap. I was like, I don't know if we'll be able to come. Um, and she was like, well, your mom really wants me to see this house. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and so we went and I'm walking like and filming the house. I have the footage I'll show you in a minute. I'm filming the house for my mom thinking I'm gonna like send her the footage after you know And I open the closet And we'll let you guys watch the footage. Oh Wow, nice big kitchen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What's that? Weird lighting placement And then this is the master Here This looks like it's a closet Oh, what? You guys are creepy. What? What are you doing here? I'm so confused. Hi. Why are you here? I'm going to miss your shower. I saw Tim. I was like, is this just like a weird joke or something? I'm so confused. Hi, Tim. <laughs> You didn't know. Well, I didn't know she was that one. New. One, one of us. Did. <laughs> and then I knew. I can help you pack. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who's so, so Ryan doesn't yeah. know. So did you sell your house? No. Oh. Fun. You got me. No, but I don't like Ryan. this house, so you can have Ryan. Oh, he does. Oh, okay. You like, you like this house? No. So yeah, my mom just showed up and surprised me. I guess the only ones that really knew were Amber, who's hosting the baby shower. Uh, my mom's realtor, obviously. Ryan and Patrick knew. Even Teresa didn't know until I asked Teresa to come with to the house with me. Um, I, well, not really like asked her. I was just like, if you want to come, you can come with me to see it. And she was like, yeah, sure. And she had no idea that she was going to see my mom there either. But yeah, we're going to actually go to the pool because our pool closes on Monday, which is super sad, especially because it's still going to be like mid-80s all the way through Ooh. October probably here in North Carolina. Um, but we're going to go enjoy the pool while we can. Rev is still napping. It's... 520 Ryan should be home any minute from work um, and she's still sleeping they didn't go down to like two something but she went to sleep right away I'm pretty sure so she's been asleep for like three hours which is kind of crazy I am home from work and we are all at the pool about to go swimming and we're the only ones here oh, this is cold it's, it's not cold what <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. I'm just gonna jump in. Let's see if we can get a good view. What? Oh, the plane? Look at that beautiful sunset. 
And look at that cloud with the perfect outline. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, otherwise his knees are gonna hurt. You gotta hold on, Amber. Hold on. <laughs> That is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and as always, we will see your wonderful faces on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Bye.